Yes, so great peer friends, great viewers, you are welcome to my channel. Today I have an open news for you here, and it says Biafra youth should rise up and proscribe military patrol and mindless adoption across their communities. Now, before I go on with the news in detail, I will not hesitate to say please press the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we have great news. And also, the red subscribe button is very important. And I'm going to analyze this news at the end, so please read on, stay tuned, and watch. Now, let's go on with the news in detail. The Nigerian army has callously persisted in its adoption of innocent and law-abiding citizens of Biafra in their respective communities and towns and transferring them to barracks, amongst other detention facilities in northern Nigeria. This ugly trend is persistently being carried out in Obibo, Olo, Aba, and Oweri, with Igbo leaders keeping dead silent. Worsening the already worst situation, the Nigerian soldiers do not consider sparing the young ladies and even married women while committing these atrocious crimes. They adopt these victims on the street under the guise of hunting for the indigenous people of Biafra. IPOP. Those women are being forcefully taken to the military barracks in the Abuja, Niger, Kanu, and Castina State in Baches, where they are indiscriminately raped. It is therefore necessary for all the youth of different communities, towns, and villages across Biafra land to courageously stand up in synergy and map out plans to outrightly prescribe military patrol within their respective domain. If the youth fail, however, to place ban on this unwarranted military patrol and siege in Biafra land, this unwholesome scenario will definitely continue. This is the third time Igbo youth should jettison their cowardice and they proscribe the terroristic maneuverings of the Nigerian soldiers in their communities. In their mud-beat search of the innocent to arrest, community youth could hold on the fact that soldiers are not policemen that are constitutionally empowered to carry out arrests, then interrogate, arrest, and prosecute suspect if found resistant to illegitimate adoption. The youth of Biafran community should learn from the courage of their counterparts in Isu Town, which is the headquarter of Onyocha local government area of Ebo State. They frontly declared that nobody, whether an indigenous or not, within the seven consistent communities is allowed to invite policemen or officials of special anti robbery squad SAS to Isu Town. For whatever issue, no matter the intensity of provocation, but should rather lodge their complaint with the peace community already put in place in each of the villages to seek redress. By this singular development, the issue youth place ban on every form of police patrol and unwarranted checkpoint throughout the entirety of issue town. Moreover, the violent vision of land killers, cattle headers out of the bushes, forests, and farmlands by the youth on the 1st February 2021 by Isu Youth Assembly, IYA, became effectual as they declared dogs to down coffee came in as an extraordinary measure aimed at monitoring activities movement of persons both in and out of the town was strictly coordinated during the course of these declared exercises. The youth made it emphatically clear that no human vehicle or animal movement, including that of government 
security agencies was authorized between the hour of 7.00 p.m. and 7.00 a.m. Izu Youth proceeded further to ban the purchase and slaughtering of flanny cow, possessions and consumption of beef throughout the town with where they find consequences as penalties for offenders. The most interesting aspect of the entire drama is that inclusive of both army and police officers quartered in Onisha Divisional Headquarters in Isu, everyone was forced to face the imposed coffee without raising eye brows. This comes to because Isu youths were no longer smiling over the situation that regard of the coffee. It will interest the youth of other Biafran communities to know that when the Eboin state governor, Devuma, authorized the deployment of soldiers to Isu town as a means of calling the youth for evicting the notorious flan enhancement, the youth had to take the war right to the doorstep of the soldiers by hitting the police station where the soldiers were quartered and awaiting command from their Bakleke base commander and the military cantonment. The attack orchestrated by those brave youths greatly demoralized the station soldiers who came primarily as primarily on assignment to intimidate the youth as usual. They were left with no other option than to withdraw back to the barracks. It is time, therefore, for the youth of various communities in Biafra land to conquer their fears and courageously put a stop to the menace of Nigeria army. If Isu youth can give marching order to all the obey, even including the political officers, holders, traditional rulers, cattle merchants, saboteurs, and security agencies, Against all us, the youth of Soka, Udi, Oji, River, Nkano, Olo, and Isukwato can equally challenge the status and roundly bring to an end this subsisting wave of unwarranted abduction and the brutalities by the Nigerian military in the cities and towns of Biafra land. Biafra youth should come out of their shapes, stop folding their hands and watching helplessly the desecration of the pride of womanhood in the barracks of those aliens in army uniform from the Sahel region of Africa. Now is the ample time to take the bull by the horn once and for all. This was written by Obu Ebo. Onyebuchi Eze, detailed by Peter Shabu for Family Writer Press International. Thank you so much, great viewers and great dear friends. Whatever they are saying is the fact, the truth. These people have used our woman for caricature. Their women are very dirty. Upon that, they use our women for caricature. They cannot go to their land and rape their women, but they will continue to rape our women until we say otherwise. That is more reason why we have to rise up now and do the right thing. We can no longer take this. No matter how you hide yourself, the fight will come to you. So the best thing is take up the fight and do it once and for all. I do not have much to say. I have to say, Chucky De Biafra. Let's go on and do the right thing. Thank you so much. May God bless you all. Cheers.